Hey guys and welcome to TrickMinute.ai and today we are reviewing Cognit Bypass. It's gonna follow similar structure to my previous video with top ChatGPT humanizers. So we have an original ChatGPT written essay which is uh, postgraduate readability level with uh, some minor mistakes and then we'll be running it through Cognit Bypass to see whether it improves readability and on the other hand makes grammar spelling worse and whether that Cognitive Bypass altered essay is going to pass originality 2.0, 3.0, Winston and Turnitin. So let's get started. So the interface is pretty straightforward. There is a Cognitive Writer feature that's going to come in 31 days. Uh, there is an editor, which I'm not really sure how to use. And then you have Bypass with the two options. So you have Meteor and Nebula, and it seems like Nebula is a more sophisticated out of these two. And since we want to bypass originality first, let's check that, and also a more human toggle all the way to the right. And this is the original essay. Okay, so it seems like we are only able to rewrite 500 words at a time. Let's try and get rid of the conclusion and so maybe an introduction as well. Okay, okay, this is the altered essay. Let's check Grammarly first. It looks like we have 11 suggestions in the correctness tab. So let's note this down. And the original was two. Now Hemingway. Still post credit, so admittedly we have chosen the human mode and not a high readability mode, but still it's important to note that the human mode did not do anything positive as far as the readability goes. Okay, now it seems like we were targeting originality with our essay, so let's check that first. So first 2.0, 84% original, nice. Now 3.0. And 7% original. So I'm yet to see a spinner that does well with originality 3.0. But so far it is fractionally by the highest score. So the previous best was by Humanizer Pro. Okay, let's now change the settings to... Well, we don't have uh, Winston here. So we'll just use the same output for Winston as for originality. 100% human, nice. And since Winston is 100% human, I'm actually tempted to use the exactly the same output but for Torrentine without actually switching to Torrentine here. So I'll do that. So okay, Torrentine results are in and it seems like we are 0% AI, which is amazing. And so far what I can say is that Cogni Bypass is definitely a better option than free chat GPT, humanizing GPTs. So it's gotten the lowest score as far as spelling and grammar mistakes. Highest for originality 2.0 and 3.0, highest with Winston, and equally impressive with Turnitin. So for anyone looking to try Cognitive Bypass, could be a viable option, go check it out. Hope this video was helpful, good luck.